Hello, my name is Edson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com and in this video I'll be talking about the iframe module. The iframe module is, is a very very simple module. It basically creates an iframe inside of your page and an iframe is what I usually describe as a window to another site. So I'll give an example. Let's say that we want to create a page in this uh, template site in this uh, sample site and we want to make that page we want to we want to display Google search inside that page and this is this is a very silly very simple example but a situation that I came across the other day was that a client of mine they had two websites they had a, a front-facing website and then an, an internal internet and he wanted inside the the internet site they wanted to show their intranet together so they 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 want that the user uh, was uh, still browsing the same site the same internet site but in one of the pages of the website he wanted to show inside of it the intranet site so two sites first one an internet site second one an intranet site and they wanted the internet to be displayed within the internet site, the, their, their company website. So we could use the iframe module to call the intranet from within one of their pages. So let's, let's have an example here. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to download the iframe module from .tetnook. So we have to go to .tetnook website, log in. Then we go to download. And under download, we go to .tetnook projects. Under .tetnook projects, we have the iframe module, which we're going to download the install package. So let's just save this. I agree to save locally. Just going to open my folder just to grab the path. And then I'm going to go back to my site. I have to log in now as host because I have to install the iframe module. Now I have to go to host, module definitions, and then go through the installation process under the action menu, go to install module, select the module, I'm gonna enter the path, and here's the module, I'm gonna just click open, go to the next, next again, again next, accept license, click next, and now the module uh, is installed successful. So let's click the return. Now let's have a look here. If the iframe is installed, yes, the iframe is installed. What we're going to do now, we're going to create a new page to show an example of the iframe in action. So let's click new page. Let's call this as Google again, this is just an example. And then let's make this visible to our users. And let's click update. So we have the Google page here. I'm just gonna delete this module, this text HTML module from the page. So it, it's basically an empty page. And I'm gonna add to this page the iframe module at the top. I'm gonna select iframe. I'm going to call this Google search and I'm going to insert in the content pane at the bottom. Okay, that's fine. So let's click add module. Now the module is added, but nothing shows up because we have to set it up. So we can go to the action menu and go to edit iframe options. And to give a quick example, let's just put here in the location, let's put www.google.com. And also, we have to define what is the, the area that this window will show in the page. So let's define this by, let's put it 900, 700 pixels by uh, 500 pixels. And let's keep it like this for now. Let's just save this. So what happened here is that now we have, we have our, our, our test site. That's uh, the Google page. And then we have Google inside of it. We can even use Google from here. Let's say .netnook. 
let's try to search here. So everything that's coming inside this window that we have defined the height and the width. Now let's set up a couple more options there. Let's go back to edit iframe options. And then we have the auto height, which will allow the iframe to expand according to the content inside of it, to the page it, it is displaying, but it just works if the location is coming off from the same domain as the main, as the, as the site itself. So it can, it might not be very useful if you are, uh, showing content from another, another site, like it's our example. We are showing from our site. We are showing Google it's scrolling. We can have auto. We can have no or yes. Auto will automatically add scroll bars. If it's required, if it, if the content doesn't, uh, show completely, no, it will not show any scrolling. Let's just try that. So we have to save. So as you can see, we see Google inside, but no longer we see scrolling here. So that's about the scrolling. Let's go back there. We also have border, which right now it's set to no, but I can set it to yes. So it will show a border around the iframe area. You can save, you see the, the border here. Let's go back to the options again. Now, a very interesting option that I, that I think I should explore a little bit more is about the query string parameters. Actually, you can send parameters to this URL via query string parameters that uh, have dynamic uh, content, dynamic values. So by clicking the add query string parameter, we can specify query strings to be placed together on this URL. So let's say we can, we can put test or even let's say username. And then I can select what kind of parameter is that one? It might be a static value that I will add the value right here in the box. It might be a pass through query string, a pass through form. Uh, what will happen here is that if I say that this is a pass through query string, the, if there is a query string in the page that contains the iframe, if there is a, a query string there, that query string will be sent over to the internal page inside the iframe as well. It might be from a form post as well. And we also have a bunch of options of dynamic options coming from the current user that is logged into the website right now. So again, this is very useful if you need to send dynamic information to the site, to the destination page that the iframe is, is displaying. Now, this is basically a quick overview of the iframe module. It's a very simple module, very straightforward, very simple options. And again, it might be useful to you depending on if you need to display information coming out, maybe from other website or maybe even from the same website. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye for now.